Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's talk about the distance between slits in the diffraction grating. Typically, they give you something like there are so many lines per centimeter or so many lines per inch. So they take a piece of plastic or glass and they scratch very minute little scratches in them, which gives the effect of making small little slits. The in between portions that are not scratched up, the light can actually traverse through that, and so the scratches actually separate one slit from another. But typically they draw a certain number of scratches per inch or a certain amount of scratches per, per centimeter and those are then expressed in terms of let's say 5,000 lines per centimeter or 1,500 lines per inch. How do we find the separation distance in between any two adjacent slits? It's actually pretty simple. For example, if we call D1 this and D2 that, what we simply do is that D1 is simply the inverse of the number of lines per centimeter but then converted to meters. So it would be 1 over 5,000 lines per centimeter, which becomes one centimeter per 5,000 lines. And of course, we want to convert that to number of lines, uh, uh, we want to convert that to meters per lines. So if we then multiply this times uh, one meter divided by 100 centimeters, then this becomes equal to uh, one meter because centimeters cancel out so we get one meter in the numerator divided by five zero 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 and two more zeros that would be five hundred thousand lines and then if we actually put that number into a calculator we take one divided by five hundred thousand we get one divided by five hundred thousand we get two micrometers so this is equal to two times ten to the minus six meters or two micrometers this is equal to 2 micrometers. So that would be the, the distance between any two addition slits. They're of course so small that with the naked eye you can actually not see those scratches. They're very tiny. You have to look at them with a microscope to be able to see those. And even with a microscope you have a really tough time seeing those lines. They're very, very tiny. All right, how do we convert 1500 lines per inch? We would do the same thing. We get D2 is equal to the inverse 1 divided by 1500 lines per inch which means inches goes to the top so we have one inch divided by 1500 lines and so now we have to convert that to okay instead of inches we want meters so we want one meter at the top and how many inches is that well let's see one meter is actually it's probably better to do it like this so if we take one inch, which is equal to 2.54 centimeters and convert that to meters, we get 0 0.0254 meters. That's probably a better way to convert. All right, so now we can convert from inches to meters. And now all we have to do is take 0 0.0254 divided by 1500, and that gives us the number, uh, the distance in meters between two lines. So we'll go 0 0.0254 divided by 1500 equals and there we get 1.693 times 10 to the minus 5, or 16 point, I guess we can go 16.93 times 10 to the minus 6. So it would be, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me do that again because I think I might have made a mistake here. Let's try this again. So point zero two five four. that's meters. Ah, no, I think that is right. Singes, yep, okay. I thought I did it wrong, but it's not. Divided by 1,500, and sure enough, 1.693 times 10 to the minus 5. So this is equal to 1.693 times 10 to the minus 5 uh, meters. Uh, that would be the separation distance between the two slits. And convert that to micrometers, that would be 16.93 micrometers. So there we go. That's how we calculate the distance between two slits. We simply take the inverse of the number of lines per centimeter, the number of lines per inch, or however they give it to us, and then we convert from centimeters or inches to meters, and we have the separation distance d. At that point, we can then utilize that number to find out what the lookup angle is to find the first and second max, or what the distance is from the central maximum to the first max or the second max. By the way, those are called orders, but we'll see in, in future videos why they're called orders and how we utilize that. But now at least you know how to find the separation distance between slits given the number of lines per centimeter or the number of lines per inch. And that's how we do that.